Back in, back in, back in, back in, back in, back in. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Give us, give us a shot. Let us play. Gold went lot really deep. It's hard to find a price. I, I had it, but Jesus, it was too deep. Damn it. Pop, you son of a bitch. Pop. 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 Look at it. Just. It's supposed to be a money machine, but it's a money machine that actually um, takes your money, too. You know? Nice trade, Adam. Did you get a package or? Not left. Yeah, this here, the blue side. These numbers are whoever in the whole world is trading. These are their bids, meaning they want to buy it at that price. This red side's the offers, and we call it the ask. They're asking for you to pay this price. Go, 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 go. This is good for the farmers. Let's do it for the farmers. Oh my God. Buy them, buy them, buy them. Just won't go. Man, it's fast, but isn't that fun? I mean, that is, that is fun. Uh, it would have been funner if I got the price. It's my second year trading. And uh, oh I, I was waiting for that day I got double digits. And it happened at the beginning of the month. I was pretty stoked about it. Tried being humble about it. Because at any given moment, that you can do, it'll just take it away from you. It's easy to just enter a market. It's so easy to enter it. All you got to do is click the mouse, you know? If you're having a good day and you just think, like, you can kill it still, and then all of a sudden you're chasing it, and then you're losing it, and then you're pissed, and your emotions take over. And that's mainly the problems that people have with trading is controlling their emotion. That's why now people make computer programs and plug them in the market because it can't get emotional. The emotion's built into the program, but that's already structured. So it's structured to kind of control its losses. And if it's wrong, it gets the fuck out. The analysts come in, these technical nerds, rotten people that all they're doing is putting logarithms and algorithms and monkey rhythms, who knows? It's a bastardization of the market because economic news comes out and the market should go one way, and it doesn't. Now, there's only one reason for that. The computer programs are set the other way, and the markets don't react normally. I made money for 18 years in a row, and then I lost money for three years in a row because the computer was trading. Now, did the markets change dramatically? No. The market still moves up and down but the computer makes it impossible for a trader to trade. The basic principle is that one person is, should not work with the computer alone. Generally, there should be two programmers who should work in pair. So they constantly, uh, you know, review each other's designs and code. Mm -hmm. nice. One person's talking, one person's typing. <laughs> so like, I'm typing, I'm thinking through, and he's, he's saying what's going on. Reviewing in real time. Right, so we're constantly, we're adjusting as we're typing. These people have programs. They say it's an, you know, a wonderful system. There's no, you know, no hijinks in it. I think that these people have hacked in and figured out how to, how to run the books. Late at night, somebody's playing the game. Do you want to introduce, introduce everybody or? Sure. We've got Phil. Was a uh, nuclear physicist out of Argonne. Hello. And then we have uh, Raja over here. Hi, Raja. It's like our How are you? Super right, high thanks. end, back end. Uh, super store. high end, back end programmer? Yeah. This is Rama. Hey, Rama. Hi. How are you? What are you, what are you doing? Again, back end, um, high uh, traffic uh, systems. What do you do? Um, I worry. <laughs> he is our full-time warrior. I'm the full-time warrior. Larry has done a tremendous job in bridging the gap between technology and the brokerage world. Larry used to work on the floor himself and has taken all that knowledge he's gained over decades and been able to communicate it to all the developers here. When we talk about world domination, <laughs> you always want to have one of these around. Most of these people come in in the morning, 
the bell rings, and they do their little training, the bell closes, they go home, but they're not thinking one step ahead, and they're not planning one step ahead. Very few businesses will survive being run that way. Where is your business plan? Where is your forecasting? Which markets are changing? Where is the opportunity? Where is the technology to take advantage of? They haven't learned to adapt. You know, it's, you got a case of Darwinism here, you know. I've been wanting to get in the computer, but I've been forcing myself to do trades I shouldn't be doing, meaning trading bigger than I should putting more chips on the table when I should be taking away chips. That, that, that pit just sucks you in the big contract. And it takes you to that realm where you should be sticking to my guns on what I do, but I get away from that when I'm in the pit. Uh, for people who have the money to make the transition, you know, great. But for me, no. Every time I think I'm there, it's like you get, I get slammed. It's just been a, it's, it's been such an uphill battle right now. It, it's, uh... I've seen some of the most successful open outcry floor traders move to the screen and absolutely have zero success. To be a pit trader and then be trading upstairs on the screen and trying to trade the same way, it's impossible. It's... A large percentage of my business is working with traders and trading firms. I am a master certified coach and I'm a psychotherapist and the application in the industry is huge. I deal with individual traders. I help them transition from being a floor trader to an upstairs trader. I would take your hand and I would lead you away and say, did you like that? Was that exciting? Great, it's gonna go away. But let me show you the next coolest thing. Come on upstairs. And I would take that person to an electronic trading arena and say, this is the future. I mean, you see guys just lose their mojo and they can't trade themselves out of a box. And oftentimes it's just getting them to realize and become self-aware of what changed. Some people make the transition in a matter of months and some people it takes years. And the difference is primarily how they're coming into my office, the approach that they're coming in with. Are they open to change? Or are they coming with, my life is over? Well, the guy that's coming in, my life is over. We're gonna have a lot more work to do on the front end to get him into a transitional job. I have a friend that says, "Now nah, I'm going to go up to his office. He's going to teach me how to trade spoos. They've got a they've got a program. It blue when you want to buy and red when you want to sell. Great. When I was growing up, everything was family. Everything. We had summer vacation for three weeks. We'd drive from one AAA motel to the next to the next, and we saw everything. Families." Nowadays, it's, it's hard raising a kid. They grow up too fast, they're never kids. They're on this computer, they're in this video world. And the family unit is gone. It goes fast and it's very sad. And that's, I can allude that to open outcry. When we lose open outcry, we've lost an institution. Oh, did you ever think you'd see that on a door? Very huh? nice, huh? very nice. This is my little new world. It's a beautiful world, but it's a computer world. Do you enjoy computer life? I'll tell you what, I have never been happier. I hate email. I hate computers. Well, I, I don't really know how to respond to that. that. I believe open outcry is the most honorable and the most efficient trade in the world. It's a new game. It's a new world it's order. It's a crappy game. Well, I mean, if you were making a fortune trading electronically, it wouldn't be a crappy game. I wouldn't enjoy it. There's a misconception that the local trader can no longer compete with the black boxes or the algorithm guys. I can't. You know, first of all, they got to be right to market, too. I've traded for 30 years, and I know markets. 
It's a different feel, okay? So it's like... It's not a feel. It's not. I, that's let me, let me propose point. this analogy. You're a musician, but you're trained in classical music. Okay. All of a sudden, does that mean you can't play jazz that's arrhythmic, that's atonal? Sure you could. You prefer the classical music or whatever it is. The market is like a symphony. And as a musician, you have to be able to play the music that the conductor gives to you. And that's, I think, what the world has evolved to. Every market is volume is dominated by computers. Not cattle and not hogs. Look, I stand corrected, you're right. But that's only a matter of time. But they have these, this program where they're bid for 100, every nickel. You hit them. Some miraculous way, the computer gods, oh, I bought one. The rest is canceled. What hard did it go? I don't know. They have better programmers. The people that are making money are the programmers. I say the computer is the worst and the most evil thing of trading that I've ever seen. It's, it's I... neutral. If I could convince you of anything after our discussion, I, I want you to get this idea of somehow this alternative trading modality is evil. And those I can't win. Five, I... I cannot beat the computer. And that's not the computer's fault. It's not that my competitor is evil. He's better. He's more efficient. If he's following the rules. It's more devious. Why is it devious? They do Why have these programs out there. Trust me when I say these people are cheating on the computer. All right, let's, let's stop right there. They're cheating whom? Some people have better sources. Some people have better servers. You want to race your car? You know, get a Ferrari, get a Yugo. It's the same thing. It's just a car. I just want you to know that it's, it's a neutral entity. It has no I soul. I... It has no conscience. It doesn't. It's evil. Well, what can I say? <laughs> you know.